We started doing this show April 6th, 2007, and now it's going to be almost two years. It's, it's difficult to believe that it, it's gone this long and people actually tune in to watch it. The point of this show was originally a class assignment. In 2007, we assigned the production class to come up with a studio-produced show. It could be anything they wanted to do, a cooking show, a coach's call-in show, a homework hotline type of show, anything. They came up with the idea of doing a talk show, a late-night talk show, and it just hit the ground running. People seem to enjoy it. People still watch it. People ask for it. Hey, are you doing another show this weekend? Hey, what, who's on this weekend? We always get questions and emails. Hey, we liked what you did. What if you do it like this? And, and that's another thing, too, is the students that run this show, they're not here five days out of the week only working on Up Late. They're college students. They've got 13 hours. They've got 16 hours, however many hours they have. This is just a three-hour class that they take in the spring semester, but yet they put a lot of work that goes into it. After 49 shows, I can honestly say there's two people that really stand out, and, and, and I think to myself, wow, really? The first of being Chad Pennington. Of course, Chad, a graduate of Marshall University. Of course, he said, I'll come back and do the show. That was awesome having him in the show. But the other person really was Governor Joe Manchin. The whole idea for the pictures in the hallway, it, it's one of those things that it's a good idea, and I can't give you an exact person who came up with the idea. We've talked about it. Tammy Reynolds, the administrative assistant in the School of Journalism, has talked about it. My wife has talked about it. The students have talked about it. Everyone says, you should do this. And finally, at the beginning of the semester, we thought, Let's just go ahead and do it. So we've printed out 45 pictures of the guests that have sat on the couch, and we've got about 20 more to go. You know, they walk by and they kind of look, oh, that's Joe Johns. He's on CNN. He must have been on the show. Or, or there's Dr. Kopp or, or Tyler Akers. He kicked himself in the head a hundred times. You know, just nonsense, but yet it kind of fills the hallway, and it, it's something that we're going to try to keep doing.